God damn, it's been... It's been fucking forever. Oh, I forgot our house got upgraded. Uh... Hope Margie's still here. Got something important to tell her. It's very somber music for what's, uh, for what's going down here. It's just, you know, maybe... Maybe I want to, I want to go somewhere. Maybe I, maybe I want to leave a home for a bit. Hey Margie, uh, how do you feel about desert islands? Like deserted, uh, de deserted, not, not, uh, like, uh, sandy. You want to, want to go to a desert island? Deserted island? I'm sorry, I keep making that mistake. No, yeah, I... Yeah, I, I know the house is bigger, it's just I'm not going to be staying there for... Maybe I might not be staying... It really depends. I, I do want to come to a deserted island. Yeah, I didn't... Okay, white furniture? Yeah, I didn't think you'd want to come. I don't think I have any white furniture on me. But I know my dresser is white. So, uh, that's a no then. I can't find the option to ask you if you want to come. It's weird. really feel like I should be able to tell you that I want to leave, but maybe, like, this is just a, an in-game representation of my heart being unable to take it. Maybe that's what this is. I hope they have weeds. I hope they have weeds where I'm going. Because if they don't, what am I going to do with my time? But I'm probably not going to be needing this white dresser for quite a while. Maybe just give her the dresser. And all the stuff inside of it by proxy. I think the game is smart enough to realize this regal dresser is colored white, even though it doesn't have white in the name. You know, it, this isn't all sad. Even though Wild World is definitely my favorite Animal Crossing, New Horizons could be my favorite -ister. I could like it more. Hey, Margie. You think they'll let you make constellations in New Horizons like they do in Wild World? Here's your, uh, here's your white furniture. Last chance, uh, you want to give me your, a picture of your face? Been after that photo of your face for a while now. If you want to, real quick, give me a photo of your face, maybe... No? No? I was, was kind of hoping for a picture of your face. Alright, see you later, Margie. Or, or not, it really depends. No, no, come on. I, how can you be here? You were just at Nookington's in Wild World. I was just there. Thanks. At least, I, you know, at least it's gonna be deserted. There's not gonna be, not gonna be anyone there to, yep, hi, I've seen you before. You don't need introducers. Yep, both of you. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I, no one asked for that. Why would anyone want you to come? This is not information I feel comfortable giving you. Can I at least spell my name the way I want it? It's dollar sign, at sign, VVY. Is there an at sign anywhere here? Oh, I'm not in the UK. That's ridiculous. Let's not be ridiculous. I don't sound like I'm from the UK at all. Oh, there's the at sign, I think. Yep, there it is. Let's just, uh, navigate on. Nope, can't select it. Worst game. Worst game, that's it. Nope. I'm out. Alright, so I get to pick what the I want the- well, the one on the right, obviously. The one on the top right, yep. Look at that spot right in the middle. That's where I want to put my house. Right there. Can we talk about this you coming with me to the island shit? Because I was under the impression that by deserted island there would not be other people there except maybe the people I bring, but the elephant didn't want to come. 
what what would I bring to a deserted island? Uh, you can get food on a deserted island. You can get a sleeping bag on a deserted island. You can get you can get lighting, but boredom that kills people. Boredom will in fact kill you. All right, make sure you bring things to keep yourself entertained, because I'm not going to be entertaining you. You know I'm. I'm actually having second thoughts about this. Like, now that I think about it, it's a little sketchy that I didn't pay to... to no, actually, I don't think I want to get on the plane anymore. So where's the Wi-Fi? Oh, uh... An orientation? I was like, fearless leader, what? Okay, no, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Okay, you, uh... Okay. I just need to talk to someone about this. Seem you rabbit. No, I don't want a hustle. It's very close to the word hustle. You tried. But that's that's not what you said. You said hustle. Don't... Hey, Bunny, I gotta talk to you. No, not, I don't want a hustle. I want it... Don't... You guys think it's weird that we didn't pay to come here and... Uh... And they paid for a free flight to a deserted island, and and they're coming with us. And now they think now they want us to talk to their fearless leader. I'm just saying. Do you think that sounds a little weird? Maybe like sounds a little culty to me. This water looks like it's straight out of fucking Link's Awakening, the remake on the Switch. It is worth noting that I cannot pick up anything on the ground right now. Might be property of the fearless leader they're referring to. It's not sure as fuck isn't Tom Nook. It's probably fucking important if they gathered you. Yes. That's a brilliant deduction. Way to go, asshat. You know, thing about Wild World, as I recall, uh, the intro, th there's some of the intro you missed out on. Uh, like an like a flight instruction video and some meaningless dialogue in the airport. I recall the intro to Wild World being a little shorter and brisker. I'm just saying, Tom Nook, if this is your newest business venture, maybe you wanna like maybe people don't want super long tutorial sections that establish what's going on. Where's Cap'n? I miss Cap'n. Better question: What have you done with Cap'n? Also, are there like, it- I feel like this is just gonna end up like- like the other Animal Crossing situations, but maybe this time it's gonna be under the guise of an island to- to give it a different aesthetic from the previous games. I'm getting that impression. Where'd the other two go? Did they get their tents already off screen? I feel like maybe you have the budget to show them actually getting the tents from Timmy and Tommy. Oh, I just fucking shit the tent out of my inventory. It's very convenient. Um, yeah, I would like a map. I kind of want to put the tent in the center of the island, but I'm getting an increasingly depressing feeling that maybe that's not a possibility. How do I access the map? No, I don't want to save. Which button is the map? I don't think he told me. No, when I stand still, there's a map, but that's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, but like... Uh, it does not appear that I can cross into the center of the island. That does not seem possible at this juncture. And that is incredibly upsetting. Because, I mean, look at all that over there. What could be over there? It could be fun. I want to put my shit over there. I know how to swim in real life. But I would also never wear this shirt in real life, so I guess I need to suspend some more disbelief for my avatar. Can I have one of your cardboard boxes also? I'm gonna need that to put shit on. Eventually. I'm just thinking about for the future, you know? Also, I'm not a big fan of how there seem to be like 500 plus weeds on the island right now that I can't pick up. Because you've decided that I'm not allowed to grab anything yet. I do recall you being able to grab things in the other Animal Crossing games before the tutorial was finished. I might have to 
Might have to check if that's how it worked, but I do recall that being the case. But if not, uh, maybe you should let me pick up the weeds, please. They're bothering me. Maybe that could be a feature you patch in, so people in the tutorial can pick up the weeds. Don't call me that. I, you don't know me well enough to call me that. You don't know me well enough to call me anything. I was not even told you would be here. How did you get here before us? How long were you here before us? Did you sleep here overnight? This is not where you're thinking of putting your tent, is it? Bunyip is a cute little catchphrase. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Bunyip is a good catchphrase. It actually means something, but it also sounds like bunny. No, this is not the spot. Let me- yeah, let me just fucking take that out of your hands for you. You are not putting your tent where there are trees, I'm sorry. Like, over here? Yeah. Over here is perfect. There is absolutely fuck all over here. Except maybe some weeds. But the other dumbass is gonna try and put their tent somewhere they shouldn't, too. I mean, I know there's a lot of trees that look like they're also from Link's Awakening DX or whatever it's called, but... You know, uh... You can work around it. I worked around it. See? I'm not- I'm not destroying any trees. I'm not chopping down trees to put a tent there. You know we need trees to breathe? I want to put a tent here. That little outcropping over there. Hey you. No, there's trees here. I know exactly where to put your tent. Alright, here we go. Okay, no, I'm insulted that this is the 500th Animal Crossing game. And I still- I still can't put tents in water. Tents have been in the game since this entry, and I still can't put them in water. It's disgusting. I guess here is fine. It's a very generic place for a tent, but it's not in the way of any trees. No, I don't need to get back to the... Oh, just take it out of my hands, why don't you? You know, Nook, I kind of actually came here to get away from this shit. Like, when Deserted Island sort of implied to me that it would be a quiet paradise without without bothers. No, I don't want a party. A party sounds like the exact fucking opposite of the reason I came here. Living together, you, you, you do mean- by living here together, you do mean on the island, not like in the same tent, right? Oh, gathering firewood. Does that mean I can pick up things now? And I can pick up the weeds now? Please? Please, can I pick up? Let's find out. I actually wanted to ask you why you're not picking up picking up fruit. Why you're not going around grabbing fruit. Investigate? Why don't you just grab them? No need to investigate, just pick them up. I assume these branches are the wood right here. And there's a pebble that looks grabbable, yep. And let's get some pears because I have a feeling Tom Nook is not actually going to pick up the pears. I have a feeling that even though he was, like, implied to be the one in charge of getting the pears, he's actually just going to stand there and not grab the pears. Be kind of cool if they animated him walking around, shaking the trees, and picking up the pears. I mean, it's not like they can't just spawn the pears back when it's over. But, you know, that would be kind of cool. The instructional video on the flight that I skipped showed some sort of, like, crafting system. Not sure how I feel about the idea of item durability. I just picked up a weed. That does tell me that uh, that I can now pick up weeds. And the weeds go in my inventory. I was a little confused why they went in my pocket. I assume they can be sold. Or maybe they're part of the crafting system. I'm going to be here a while picking up weeds now. Because, uh, you know, I know you, Nintendo, Animal Crossing Division, whatever you're called. I know that these weeds are here, these 500 plus weeds, because you think, oh, when the tutorial's over, they're going to wonder what they should do next. And we're going to have a bunch of weeds lying around that we can count as post-tutorial content. No, not a chance. I'm doing this during the tutorial. That way you can't be like, oh, there's, there's plenty to do during the first day. Look at all these weeds we left for you. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. I'm gonna pick up these weeds now. You don't get credit for leaving 500 weeds around for me to pick up. But you know, I'm getting into real Animal Crossing content now. Picking up weeds, this is more like back at home. 
literally the place was called home in Wild World. Time to talk about fucked up life stuff, I think, because that's what these Animal Crossing videos have always been for. I'm in Oklahoma right now. I was in Florida, now I am in Oklahoma. Did you know that the pizza store my roommate works at is considered an essential business? And that even though the city I live in now is closed down, the pizza store is not because it's considered essential to human life. At least that's my understanding from the letter he showed me that he signed and and uh, what he told me. That's my understanding of it from, from what he said, is that the government considers the pizza store to be essential. People apparently need pizza to live. So... Even though, uh, even though the rest of the city is mostly shut down, pizza store still open. That seems great. That seems like a... That so, so, sounds like a logically sound decision. S seems perfectly flawless. Is everything going to be okay? I don't know. Like... Probably... The, the people here, my new roommate, he understands me and my mental issues and my sisters and their mental issues, understands the whole DID and multiple sclerosis and all that, all, and the depression and anxiety, all that. He's such an understanding and loving person. That is really some Link's Awakening ass water. But like, you know, you still can't help but worry. Like... These chronic chest pains I've had my whole life and seen doctors about. They have no idea what they are. Why are those there? You don't think about it as much when you're little. And the doctors tell you your heart's fine. But why? Why are there chronic chest pains? What is that indicative of? No one's able to give you an answer. Don't even try. Don't even try to ask for answers. Stop asking. They're very tired of you asking. They don't want to hear it anymore. They also don't want to hear about about your brain anymore. They gave you forehead scans. You're fine. Stop asking about your brain problems. Stop it. Does everything feel like an illusion that could collapse at any moment? Yes. Does it feel like I'm not competent enough to have the job I have and be doing what I do? Yes. From what I understand, these are common issues that people with anxiety experience. I really want to stress that is some Link's Awakening looking water. But, you know, like, at least I can still rationalize it. At least that part of me hasn't gone yet. At least I can look at these issues I have and say, yeah, that's probably the anxiety and various other mental illnesses. That's probably what's causing these feelings. And you know, there are upsides. All of this has taught me exactly how durable we can be. Like, it was big enough moving to Florida, but then moving to Oklahoma just a couple months after moving to Florida? That's, that's also a huge deal. Did we move from Florida to Oklahoma for personal reasons related to endurance? Yes. But we could have stayed in Florida if we had to. It just would not have been preferable. Do I understand anything about how the world works? Absolutely not. Not even a little bit. I'm going to be really mad if these weeds get auto-removed and I'm picking them up for no reason, but I have a strong hunch that you have to pick up the weeds and also that they can be sold because they go inside your pocket. I have a very strong hunch that that is the case. There are always going to be things that scare me. And it's always going to be a lot easier to just not, to just not do things, to just not confront them. But for now, I don't know how long it's going to last, but for now I still have the energy to do it. It's good to know there are still, uh, still lots of, that's a common butterfly. I know for sure that's a common butterfly floating right there. Because I've played the other Animal Crossing games. 
So, weapon, I called them weapons. So, item durability seems like it's going to be a thing, judging by the fact that there's crafting. I cannot imagine how a net would lose its durability from catching fucking butterflies. I get fishing lines, but a net from catching butterflies? That seems really weird to me. I don't have the right words to adequately express how much I would like to just lie down right now. How great it would be if I just lied down and didn't do this. But there's a reason I'm doing this, and I need to remember that. It's not just for me. It's because when people watch this, even if it's like five people that end up watching this, they see a broken person, and they're like, wow, this broken person exists on the same planet as me. And maybe they're broken too. And they're like, I guess if this broken person exists in the real world and is doing things that normal people do, and they're just as scared as I am, that it's okay to be scared and broken. That I don't have to feel as alone. That's what this is, that's what this is for. That's why it's important to be honest, because nobody ever learns anything about how broken people can be if they don't tell if they don't tell them. Like, people are fucked up. And it's really easy to judge fucked up people. It's super easy. Anyone can do it. But what's more valuable is looking at a fucked up person and saying Huh. I could easily have been that fucked up. It's a good thing I'm not. Or, if you are that fucked up, you could look at a fucked up person and say, Huh. I am that fucked up. I guess I'm not as horribly alone as I thought. Very valuable things to offer. I think. And I think everyone should do, should do more honesty about how fucked up they are. Just in the right places. Not everyone is strong enough to admit how fucked up they are in public. Right? And you don't have to be that strong. But when you're comfortable telling someone about that, and they understand it, the world is being made a better place. Just remember that. You're actively making the world a better place by being more understanding toward others. It's a valuable trait. And you can cultivate that trait if you don't have it yet, so don't, like, feel bad if you have low tolerance for other people. You can fix it. Or if you can't fix it, there are ways to work around it such that your needs are met. I'm just saying, if you can understand other people and you exhibit that understanding, it makes things better. And no one's perfect, so you don't have to do it all the time either. But every little bit helps. I'm sure there's a metaphor to be made about that in these weeds I'm picking up, but I'm not going to bother, actually. You know, something I really love to do is stream of consciousness poetry. And I love nonsense stuff. Like, I love nonsense songs and nonsense poems. Things like the Jabberwocky. And I, I'm sure there's a lot of nonsense songs... I'm sure. But I just love stuff like that. All of my Animal Crossing... Well, I think all of my Animal Crossing titles that uh, aren't just the small meme videos have had Stream of Consciousness... Uh, stream of... Ahem. <clears throat> stream of Consciousness titles. There we go. And on the way to Oklahoma, I've never heard a Bare Naked Lady song, I think. I know that they're famous because I, I've heard their name a lot. But... My roommate was playing this album that was absolutely bizarre. And my sister Bray's listened to the whole thing. Got through it uh, one and a half times because it did start looping. And some of the songs were just stream of consciousness nonsense. And I listened to it and I, and I thought, wow, this must be some, uh, some band no one's ever heard of before. Because how do you release something like this? But, uh... I mean, if how much I've heard of Bare Naked Ladies is any indication of how popular they are, they must have been at least a little popular, right? Surprised to learn that that they were behind the album. I think it's called Snack Time? 
And there's one particular song called Raisins that's my favorite because it's just the most nonsense of them all. And I think that's beautiful. I think it's a beautiful song. And there's one song on there that I think seemed deliberately a lot less nonsense. It was called Bad Day or something. I have to listen to that one separately, maybe. But yeah, I love raisins. I think that's almost all the weeds. I think, I think we're almost weeded out. Yep. All right. Fucking finally. Hey, buddy, I forgot the rest of the game was even here. Yeah, I did find more than you asked. I also picked up, like, 500 fucking weeds if you'd like some weeds. You know, given the fact that I looked up some of the songs from the Snack Time album and I saw they're on tour, maybe that says that they are, in fact, pretty popular. And I, sh I, sh I should have heard a song from them somewhere before now. Maybe I didn't even know I heard it. Yeah... You're no kidding, they're pears. Yep, you needed me to collect pears. Good thing I already grabbed them for you because I anticipated that you'd be a lazy, lazy, horrible. Why did you just get the pears? Why didn't you just get the pears yourself? Is this going to be like a legitimate festival? Or is this going to be like a quick... Time pass is weird in this tutorial. It sure as fuck is not tied to the in-game clock in this tutorial. Sorry, in console clock? It's not tied to the console time. Why is everybody clapping? Why am I clapping? I should be able to choose not to clap. I agree that it's your most different. This is certainly way different from your other ventures, Tom Nook. I don't know about most exciting. Yeah, like, but we're gonna get to the part where I can wander around catching bugs and selling them and talking to villagers, right? Hello? Yeah, I know this is the cute setup for me naming the town. I put it to it, majority rules. Why would you say it? You make democracy sound bad when you say majority rules, Tom Nook. You make democracy sound bad when you say that, because I don't want the majority to rule. That sounds awful. No one should want that. That makes democracy sound terrible. You don't want the majority to rule, you want the majority to help decide how things are ruled. Because if the mob just gets to decide- oh, there's no- you can't- there's not enough fucking space to type- I think this is fine. Sounds like some sort of drug brand. I really hope it's not. I really hope I just didn't type a drug brand in. I want to go with Guitar Bro, actually. Can I change my decision to Guitar Bro? What if I clap by accident? Can I take it back? I don't like that you called me sensible. Can you take that back? I like how Tom Nook didn't clap. There's some, like, really sentimental music kicking in right now. It's supposed to be an emotional moment, and I'm just ruining it. I'm just destroying it. Proving myself. Critical- No, hold up. <laughs> hold up, I'm not following the train of logic here that led to me being elected in this position. I named the town so I get to- Oh, oh, oh man, this is some- Holy shit. This is a huge moral decision. I, that capture was on purpose. Because I say howdy in real life to greet people. I do that. I say howdy to greet people. A word or two, though, plays to my sarcastic and, and genuine side. And you can count on me. Maybe they need to hear that they have someone they can count on. This is the most horrible decision I've ever had to make in any video game. I'll do my best. Alright, they fucking loved it. I mean, regardless of my incredibly mixed first impressions, when it gets to the part of the game where I'm running around talking to villagers and selling butterflies and fish, probably gonna love it just as much as any other fucking Animal Crossing game. Just taking a long ass time to get there. Like, a long ass time. Cheers. Probably not going to want to restart. 
restart this game, like, talking to you, the, the audience at home. Oh, this is a good workout. Look at that. It's a good workout. Like, if you bought this game, I think maybe you're not going to want to restart it. Because, like, even if you do want to start over, you might think, oh yeah, there's a, there's a really long tutorial section. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll deter a few people. It didn't deter, never mind. I just realized Skyrim is a thing. I think, I think we're good. Is restarting their Animal Crossing save something people do? I mean, I would say you could just put in another SD card or make another user profile, but no, of course it doesn't work that way for New Horizons. With New Horizons, you only get one island per switch. Still can't go in other people's houses when they're not there. Should really fix that feature. It's not like their doors are locked. Ours aren't. Oh, okay, I thought our doors were locked. I was con My door was locked. I was confused. This, I'm sure there's a way to lock a tent door. Don't don't make fun of me. Unless it's for something unrelated to the tent door, then you absolutely can make fun of me. Go ahead. You're being sarcastic. I can feel the sarcasm. I can feel it. Hi, can I take a nap? Because I apparently have to ask first. Oh, thank you. Yes, I actually would like the longest fucking nap right now. In both this game and real life. Thanks. I. Why didn't that. Why didn't you give me that when you gave me the tent? Why didn't you give me that? Big day. Uh. I hope not. I hope it's not too big. I hope, uh, when I wake up, I can just, uh, get to doing what I want to do, maybe. What a weird way to enter a tent. You gotta slide in like Mega Man. I think that's the best way to go about it. It's a radio. I like that it's pink. They know me. I'm glad it's pink. It better not be pink because I chose the more feminine looking hair type. That better not be why, Nintendo. That would be horribly dumb. Okay. No, just leave it on. Probably never gonna turn it off, actually. It's like moving furniture is the same in this game as in any other. I'm getting so much Link's Awakening from the art style, and it's not nearly as toy-like, but it just feels like that. Cool. I want to take a nap in real life now. I think I'm going to go do that. <laughs> 